Yan, welcome po sa lesson 7 ng ating CLDP ano po. And today we will tackle about the 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 word of God. So we have just finished the salvation module which tackle the different aspect of our redemption so that we will come to a greater understanding of our new life with God. So today we will begin the Christian living module and the purpose of this series is to introduce us to the different things that will strengthen us as followers of Christ and help us also at the same time this will help us live a victorious Christian life with the Lord. Okay, so we will begin with one of the most essential tools in our spiritual life, which is the Word of God. So, let me just give you a brief background. And ho. When I googled um, the censorship of the Bible, there's so many uh, in history, throughout the history, the Bible was uh, persecuted and sometimes banned in certain countries. And, uh, and there are a certain period where Bible were destroyed. So there were attempts. So you could uh, take a look at the Wikipedia, who destroyed, who wanted to destroy the Bible. And it will tell you from the year 2003, February 24 of 2003, and until the present you know, time, which is the 21st century, nakalista po doon. It's, it's hindi po natin matatapos. Nakalista ang mga mga uh, panahon na talagang binaban at uh, at uh, pinagbabawal at they try to destroy the Bible so no one would read it pero ang sabi kasi ng Lord ito Heaven and earth shall pass away but my word the word of God will remain so hindi po matatapos ang salita ng Panginoon even ang earth na ito ay matapos pero ang word of God ay magpapatuloy ano ha so, so tingnan po natin mga kapatid, the word, akala natin, no, uh, we have a misconception that the Bible consists of one book. Hindi po mga kapatid, it's a, it's, it's a, the Bible came from a, a Greek word, Biblion, which means that the book of books, ano ho, tingnan nyo, sige, um, tingnan nyo sa PowerPoint, um, ang Biblion, the word Biblion means book of books. So it's like a library. It's like a, a going to a library that uh, has a plenty of books. Kaya yan po ay uh, will give you a bit brief background. And, huh? So the Word of God through the centuries, the Bible has been called the Scriptures. Kumisan po ang tawag sa Bible ay Scripture. And we will give you, you know, the Scripture. I'll read it later. Itong John 5.39. And sometimes it is called the oracles of God under Romans 3, 2. No? Yan po ang ginamit dyan. And then the law of the prophets, Matthew 5, verse 17. So it comes to a different name. At kumisa naman po sa John 10, John 10, 34. Circle niyo po yan. The Bible is called the law. Okay, so basahin ko lang po sa inyo mga kapatid ang... Uh, Ang John 5.39 You study at the scripture diligently because you think that in them you have eternal life. These are very scripture that testify about me. It is the, the Lord Jesus Christ uh, saying that, no? And Romans 3.2, sa King James Version, Much in every way, cheaply because to them were committed the oracles of God. At sa... Uh, the, the law and the prophets and Matthew 5 verse 17 do not think that I came to destroy the law of the or the prophets I did not come to destroy but to fulfill si, si, ang Lord Jesus Christ din po ang nagsalita niyan so on John 10 34 uh, it says that Jesus answered them is it not written in your law I said you are God's so ginamit po ang salitang Biblion or Bible or or a book of the books, you know, uh, na iba't ibang uh, 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 meaning uh, na, uh, na sinasabi po ito is scripture, oracles of God, law or the prophets, or the law, but it means just, it is the word of God. Ano, ha? So, hindi lang po yan iisang libro na akala ng marami, kundi um, uh, yan po ay uh, maraming libro. Ano po? So, let me give you facts of the Bible. Ano, ha? 
The Bible is made of 66 books. Anim na put anim and divided into two main sections. The Old Testament, that is prior to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, at saka the New Testament which contain 27 books. So let me just show you how it is um, um, made at the po throughout the history. The Bible was written by around 40 authors. No? At uh, kung titignan niyo po mga kapatid, uh, with a span of 1,600 years. Wow! Napakahaba. So, tignan niyo po ang bibigyan ko po kayo ng diagram. Ano ho? Kung paano uh, itong ating Bible na 66 books uh, from the New uh, Old Testament at uh, 39 books. Ano ho? Uh, this uh, New Testament ay 27 books. Ano ho? So, this is the start. At uh, tingnan nyo naman dito sa completion. Ano ho? So, ito po ay has a span ng, ng 40 authors. Apat na po ang sumulat po niyan. Ano ho? At makikita nyo, dyan yung makikita ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Na it's not an ordinary book. Kasi po, itong 40 authors ay iba-iba uh, ang profesyon. Iba-iba ang timeline. Yung iba po nagkaabot at the same period, pero yung marami, hindi naman sila nagkita. Pero iisa ang kanilang sinasabi. Ano ho? Iisa ang central focus. And the central focus of the Bible ay sino? It is the Lord Jesus Christ. Itong Old Testament, tinuturo niya ang mangyayari sa New Testament. No? So, the Old Testament is looking forward for the Messiah. It's talking about the salvation of the Jews. It's talking about the salvation of mankind. No? But they're looking forward to Messiah, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. And sa New Testament, is the fulfillment of the prophecy. Alam niyo po ba, if you look at the, all the uh, uh, prophecy in the Old Testament, ang hindi lang po fulfill pa dyan is the second coming. Bakit pa po hindi pa fulfill ang second coming sapagkat pag dumating po ang Panginoon sa ngayon, marami pang hindi nakakarinig ng salita ng Diyos at marami pang hindi tumatanggap sa Panginoon at marami pa rin na hindi pa naabot ng Bible. Pero at this stage, alam niyo po, kaya sinasabing malapit nang dumating ang Panginoon kasi nga po, look at the internet. It could reach any people anywhere in the world. Kaya ngayon, this time, binibigyan pa tayo ng Lord para mag-aral ng kanyang salita. Ano? So, let me just give you another timeline. Ano? Nakita nyo, this is another a different presentation. Makikita nyo kung date, kung kailan sinulat. So, you could look at the internet. Ano? Timeline of biblical history. At, uh, so, you will learn better no? na, na yan ay hindi lang pala iisang libro. So, another way to look at the Bible is, look, there are major prophets, di ba? Poetry, merong ba? But even poetry is talking about Jesus Christ. It's even sa Psalms. Ano? History, kung ano mga nangyari throughout the history from Genesis until the, the New Testament, and then there's a minor prophet, and then letters by by Paul. Ano? So, dito nyo po makikita na hindi iisang author, hindi iisang libro, kundi it contains 66 books, from the Old Testament to the New Testament, and it has seven, seven, 40 authors of a different backgrounds. Ano ho? Kaya, we will study more. The Bible was written about 40 authors over a span of 1,600 years. The authors were different kind of people, but they speak one message and is without contradiction. And the so central focus of the Bible is Christ Himself. Well, Sabi mo, Pastor Lester, sabi mo walang contradiction. Wala nga po talaga ang contradiction. Pero tingnan niyo po, mga kapatid, ang explanation dyan. Kuminsan, dalawang author at the same time at may binabanggit na uh, kuminsan isa, seven last word, isa naman, six lang. Pero kasi, that is the perspective of the author. Parang, ano po yan, it's like a fire, the wildfire, ano. Like, there's a wildfire in California and 100,000 acres were burning as, as of this time. May isa naman pong radio, uh, television station sabi 80,000. Hindi po contradiction yon kundi yan po ay estimate ng, uh, honest estimate ng isang uh, reporter 
At yung isa naman po ay isang honest uh, estimate ng isang ng another reporter. Ganon din po ang Bible. Kuminsan po, may sumulat na dalawa sila. Kuminsan, apat. Hindi naman sila nag-usap-usap na kung anong isusulat. But, you could see sometimes yung location nila, yung kanilang nakita at narinig, and then, and just writing it down. Ano? Kaya wala pong contradiction ang Bible. Tandaan niyo po yan. Kaya po, the role of the Bible in Christian living. No. Sabi dito, the word of God prevent us from sinning against God. Kasi po, there is power on the word of God. Kaya nga, even in our expression, whenever and wherever the word of God is spoken, there is power. Let, let me just tell you, uh, Uh, ito po ang aming karanasan na every home na pumasok ang Bible kasi po dahil sa duma, pumasok ang Bible, pumasok ang salita ng Diyos, pumasok ang pag-asa, pumasok ang salvation, pumasok ang, ang hope. Lahat po, whenever and wherever the Word of God is spoken, there is power. So even right now at this home, uh, pumasok ang salita ng Panginoon, now uh, there is power on the Word of God. So, one way na makikita po natin, it prevents us from sinning against against God. Kasi po, nagkakaroon tayo ng kaalaman. Ano ba ang nais ng Panginoon? Ano ba ang plano ng Diyos sa buhay po natin? At the same time, the Word of God is also our counselor. It gives us direction in life. Ano ho? It gives us uh, counsel from, from God. Anong ating gagawin? Kaya nga, when we seek, of course, like a... Uh, A uh, few weeks ago or last week, there's a fasting and prayer. Yes, there is fasting. There is also prayer and there is the Word of God. Kaya balanse po yon. Kaya because the Word of God will give us counsel, ano ho, direction. Thirdly, the Word of God gives us strength when our soul are weary. Kapag naghihina, naghihinta tayo, uh, we feel weak and weary, God will lead, lift us up to His Word. Kaya pa kaya nga, The memory verse is very, very important kasi this is the verse that you, God will reveal to you during the time of our weaknesses. Ano ha? And also, the Word of God give us hope. Pagka medyo nanlulumo tayo, nanghihina, it is God that will lift us up. Okay? So, napakarami pong benefit. If you read Psalms 119, ano ha? Uh, verse 9 to 16, focus on verse 11, the Word of God, if kept in our heart, prevent us from sinning against God. Maliwanag po yung salita ng Panginoon. Kaya nga, in last week's session, we learned that when we were saved, we were set apart by God to live a holy lives for His glory. Di ba? Nung makakilala tayo sa Panginoon, dati-dati, hindi tayo anak ng Diyos. Ngayon, anak na tayo ng Diyos. Now you are a holy nation. Now you're a prophet. And and dami ng privileges na binigay sa atin ng Panginoon. It is because uh, nakikita natin doon through the Word of God that God loves us. Kaya, the Word of God, knowing it and obey it will keep us pure in our daily walk. Kaya, dito po, it prevents us sinning kasi na, na, ang pati it could change our mind, it could change our heart, it could change our action. And how? So, so, when you focus on verse 24, the Word of God, say, it says here, is our counselor. What, does, what exactly does a counselor do? The counselor is one who gives advice and recommendations. He is also a source of solace and comfort. As the Holy Spirit Diba, we have studied earlier that the Holy Spirit is our counselor. That is correct. And also, the Word of God is also our counselor. So, from its pages come not only assurance, but much wisdom for living. So, if you focus on verse 28, the Word of God gives strength when our soul are weary with sorrow. So, when we are depressed, Because of the problems or pressures, we need we only need to turn to scripture that are filled with God's promises for His children. Though the word we feel uh, God's encouragement and comfort, 
Let me just tell you, that's why it is very important na nagjo-journal po tayo so that we can remember ang mga revelations sa atin ng Panginoon. It is also important na we memorize the Word of God kasi when time comes, no, we could we have something to uh, uh, look for. There's a promise that we could hold on. The promise of God. So, when you read the Psalms 119, 119, verse 41 to 48, take a look at that. You focus on verse 42 and 43. The Word of God gives us hope. So, whatever happens in life, we have assurance that God will be there because His Word tells us so. We can trust the Bible because it is God's word and His word will never pass away. As I said earlier, heaven and earth shall pass away, but the word of God will remain. No? So, it is the word of God that will give us hope. So, that is the role of the Bible in our Christian living. So, the word of God gives us comfort through our suffering. So, verse 52. The word of God is eternal. So, verse 89. And, huh? The Word of God makes us wiser. Verse 98 to 99. So ano pa po? Ano pa? The Word of God is our guide. So when we need a direction, just like GPS, the, Lord, the Word of God will tell you where you are right now and where you're heading to. So kung saan tayo naroon ngayon, saan tayo pupunta? Ano ang ating plano? It is the, the Word of God that will guide us. So, we always ask the wisdom from God. Lord, ano ba ang plan natin? Even right now, it's um, uh, the start of the January 2021. Lord, where are we heading to? But the Word of God will give us uh, wisdom and knowledge and direction in life. And, uh, and the Word of God brings us delight. Kung minsan, mapikikita niyo, pagbabasa niyo, oh, maiyak pa kayo sa tuwa. But that, that, that's a tear of joy. So, there is power in the Word of God. No. So, if you read Psalms 49 uh, up to verse 56, so in verse uh, 42, the Word of God gives us comfort through our suffering. His promise keeps us going. And, huh? So, Psalms 119 naman, verse 89 to 96, focus on verse 89, the Word of God is eternal. And because of that, it never changes. Kaya nga po, parati natin sinasabi, presentation natin ngayon, nagbabago yan. Pero the Word of God will remain. Nung araw, wala namang PowerPoint. Nasa, uh, screen, wala pa akong screen noon. Nag-start nag kami with the uh, uh, acetate. <laughs> Kung yung mga inabot ng acetate. Nag-start pa kami earlier than acetate. Yung kartolina, dinodrawing lang namin doon, ang sinusulat. And then blackboard, of course. So, the presentation may may, uh, be, may dif differ, pero the Word of God will remain. Tandaan niyo po yan. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but the Word of God will remain. Now, so, if you read Psalms 119, uh, 119 verse 89 to 96, it will say that the Word of God is eternal. So, uh, and then, of course, the Word of God makes us wiser. It will give us an insight and understanding. We could see the future. We could see the, the time ahead of us. So, uh, it gives us, gives us a greater insight and understanding. So, we need this in order to live a good Christian life, especially in the area of decision-making. So, the Word of God will give us direction. And uh, Even sa Psalms, uh, verse 100, uh, so verse 105 ng Psalms 119, the Word of God is our guide. We no, longer, uh, we no longer have to go around the dark because it gives direction, our ways and where we should walk. Saan po tayo pupunta? Saan tayo? Anong ating hakbangin? Anong next plan? The Word of God will guide us. Anha. So, and also, the Word of God teaches us to praise and thank God for His righteousness. Dito po tayo natututo na ano man ang nangyayari sa buhay, natututo tayo sapagkat we know that God is in control. Pag-aralan na po natin yan. We know that God is a sovereign God. 
we know that God is omnipresent. Kahit saan tayo pumunta, nandun siya. So, we could praise God and thank God for all His righteousness. So, even the same same verse, ano, uh, same, uh, uh, what you call this, uh, chapter of uh, Psalms 119. If you look at verse 171 to verse 172, the Word of God teaches us to praise and thank God for His righteousness. So when we study the scripture, we become more amazed of who God is and what He has done in your life, what He has done in my life, what He has done in my family. So we have more reason to praise Him. So it is very important that we know and we read the Word of God. Hindi lamang po basta binasa natin, tinuturuan po tayo na later on, pag hindi pa kayo nag-journal, tuturuan po kayo ng inyong leaders. Later on, if you hindi pa kayo nag-memory verse, tuturuan kayo mag-memory verse sapagat it is very important that um, that uh, we read, not only read the Word of God, practice it, proclaim it, uh, parang uh, hawapang-hawakan natin ang salita ng Panginoon. We could hold on to it. So, because the Bible, this book, it contains the mind of God. What God, what is the purpose? You know, any question about God, it contains the mind of God. God will answer all the questions that we have in life, you know. So, in the state of man, ano yung kalagayan natin na tayo makasalanan at ang kabayaran ng kasalanan ay, uh, ay kamatayan? So, nandun po yan. Yun ang ating kalagayan. Ano ho? The way to salvation. How we could, so that we will not be confused. Because a lot of people are using religion. A lot of people are using the, uh, that uh, they are obeying the law. A lot of people are using a lot of means. But there is only one way to salvation, which is accepting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And then it also mentioned about the uh, doom of the sinners. Asama po yan. What would happen to those unbelievers? Maliwanag po ang salita ng Panginoon. And the happiness of believers, it brings life, it brings joy in your life. Ano ho? Kaya, it's a, napakahalaga po ng reading the Bible because its doctrine are holy. Tandaan niyo po yan. That's a holy scripture. Take a look. Papaan naging holy yan? Papaan naging word of God? Because it is inspired by the word of God. Kaya nga po makikita nyo that it is inspired by the Word of God because it has 40 authors of a different time. It contains 66 books na sabi ko nga, it is not impossible kung meron lang isang libro. Iisa author, there is one mind. But having 40 minds, eh, iba po yon mga kapatid. So, hindi po mangyayari na they will all focus on the Lord Jesus Christ. Kaya, uh, dito po makikita nyo and its precepts are binding. Its stories are true. History po yan. Kaya nga po, I encourage you, if you go to Israel so you could see the places the Bible is talking about. And its decisions are immutable. Hindi po yan contestable. Kaya nga, ang, ang, ang book of um, the Bible is infallible. Hindi po nagkakamali yan. The, the God is, is infallible. Hindi po nagkakamali. Pero tayo po lahat, we are in a human form, nagkakamali po tayo. Kaya it is very important to know the Word of God. Kaya we are encouraging you to read the Bible and not only read, to memorize the verses, to do journaling, to meditate it day and night as the Word of God says. So, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. We'll go on with the, uh, with the next lesson at uh, makikita niyo po and it is you that will testify that the word of God is true kapag binasa niyo po yan. At yan po mga kapatid, tandaan niyo, ang word of God is a reflection of we, how much we know God. Kasi po, itong salita ng Panginoon, papasok sa atin. It will change our mind. It will change our heart. And then it will change our action. It will change our decision. Ano? So, bibigyan tayo ng direction sa buhay. So, nababago po lahat mga kapatid kapag ka nagbasa tayo ng salita ng Diyos. And uh, maraming maraming pong salamat. Let us all continue 
uh, reading the Bible and know the importance of the Bible. God bless you all. Let me just pray for you. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Father, for what you have done. We thank you, Father, for the revelation, Lord, in our life. And Lord, as we continue reading the word of God, reveal to, you, to your people, O oh God. Show them forth your mercy. Show them forth your, your power, O oh God. And we want to experience you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God, God bless you all. Hallelujah.